Android is a very complex operating system and it offers you a lot of customization. In this video, I will show you some of the not so common Android hacks that you can do to your phone. So let's start. So the first mod is that you can change the Android version when you open the settings menu and in the about phone section. This mod however requires a root and you will require your device to be rooted. If you don't know what root is, you can check out my videos on it. I've made a video in English and Hindi as well. So you will need to open a file manager that has root access enabled. In ES file manager, you can open it and enable root access by swiping from the left and selecting root explorer. Then you will need to go to the root directory and open the system folder. In the system folder, there would be a file name build prop. You'll have to open the file and then edit it by pressing the three dots in the top right corner and then selecting edit. You'll have to edit ro.build.version.release. You can change it to literally any number, but for this video, I will change it to 9.0.1. And after you have done that, all you need is to save the file and then reboot your device. After you reboot your device, your version number will be changed. Boot animation is the animation that comes up when you start your Android phone. If you have rooted your device, you can change this animation also. So you will need a boot animation file. I will have the link to this boot animation file in the description below. It is a boot animation that I created for my phone and I've made a video on it. There are tons of other boot animations that you can choose from. I will leave a link to the boot animation thread. So you'll have a lot of boot animations there. So after you have downloaded and copied that boot animation file to your internal SD card, you will need to open a file manager that has root access enabled. In ES file manager, you can open it and enable root access by swiping from the left and selecting root explorer. So press the copy button and then go to your root directory. Then open the system folder and inside that the media folder. You can either override the boot animation file that is already there or rename the previous boot animation file and copy the new one there. So I will copy the previous boot animation file to boot animation old and then copy the new one there. After you copy the boot animation file, you'll have to change the permissions on it. So click on the more button and then properties and then change the permissions to RWRR. Then reboot your device. After you reboot your device, you'll have the new boot animation. For this mod, you don't require root. You don't even require any extra apps. All you have to do is go to the settings menu and tap on the build number seven times. After you do that, you will unlock developer settings. In the developer settings, you have various options that provide you different kinds of functionality. You can enable the pointer location or you can turn down the animations. But for this one, what we'll do is we'll reduce the amount of apps that run in the background and we can also change if the activity exits when we press the back button. So if you select don't keep activities button, it will not keep the activity in the background. And as soon as you press the back button, it will kill the activity. You can also select the number of background processes that you have. The standard limit is the default limit set by Android. You can have it as no background processes. This will be useful if you are running a game and you require all the resources pulled onto the game. But for, but for general purposes, you can use three or four or the standard limit also does fine. I'll show you an example with Google Plus by enabling both of these. So when I open the app and reopen it, it won't keep any activities and the app will restart. The cool thing with this is that you can always disable developer settings. So if you made any changes that you don't like, you can always turn down the developer settings and recover them. So before moving on to the next module, I would request you guys to click on the subscribe button because it will motivate me to make more videos like this. So for the fourth one, this allows you to change your location to anywhere in the world. All you have to do is enable mock location 
in the developer settings menu and install an app called Fly GPS. You can find this app on the Play Store. So after you install the app, you will have to go to the developer settings and then select the mock location app as Fly GPS. This might not work properly in devices that are below Marshmallow. You can use this app to spoof your location for Google Maps or you can share your fake location with your friends. I'll share my fake location with my Facebook friends. You just have to open the Facebook app and check into your location. Your location will now be spoofed. In this case, I selected Ladakh, so it has check-ins for Ladakh. So I'll just select Ladakh. And that's how you do it. The location has been changed to Ladakh and you can share it to your friends and spoof them. This is a very useful app and kind of a hack. So this mod allows you to copy multiple items at once and paste them to a separate clipboard. So this is an app called Native Clipboard. To use this app, you'll have to install it. I will have the link in the description. And after you install the app, you'll have to enable it in the accessibility mode. Once you do that, you'll be greeted with a tutorial. And this will show you how the app works. But I'm going to skip that and I'm going to show you how it works. So if you are in any text input, you can just double tap the text input and it will open the native clipboard. In this, you will have all the items that you have copied and you can select them to paste any one of these. You can select multiple items or even lines and you can edit them and also pin them to your clipboard. So the final one on the list is awesome pop-up video. This mod will let you multitask even if you don't have Nougat on your device. This will enable you to run a pop-up video wherever you want. Right now this only works with YouTube. So you have to download the app. I'll have the link in the description. And then you can just search for any YouTube video you want. And it will play in a pop-up video player. The pop-up video player is resizable. And you can also change the quality. You can use any other apps in the background if you want and to quickly close it or change it to full screen you can tap on the video so that's it for the video guys let me know in the comment section below which is your favorite hack and subscribe to this channel for more content like this